Bob Larson born May 28, 1944, is an American radio and television evangelist, and a pastor of Spiritual Freedom Church in Phoenix, Arizona. Larson has authored numerous books critical of rock music and Satanism. <laughs> Life and career Larson was born in Westwood, Los Angeles, California, the son of Viola Baum and Earl Larson. He was raised in McCook, Nebraska. Larson plays guitar. He has claimed his early experiences as a musician led to his concerns about occult and destructive influences in rock music. He would later incorporate his guitar playing into some of his sermons. In the 1960s, the focus of Larson's preaching centered mainly on the leftist political ideology, sexually suggestive lyrics, Eastern religious mysticism, and anti-social behavior of many of the era's rock musicians. <laughs> <laughs> Debates with Satanists During the late 1980s and into the 1990s, Bob Larson repeatedly debated, interviewed, and confronted Satanists, during the period known as the Satanic Panic. On two separate occasions he hosted Nicholas Schreck a gothic rock musician and Zena Lavi once the spokesperson for the Church of Satan and later a priestess in the Temple of Set. During their first encounter the pair defended Satanism, while in 1997, during their second appearance, they defended Sedianism. Larson debated the pair, and at times attempted to convert them without success. <laughs> Talk back with Bob Larson In 1982, Larson launched Talk Back, a two hour weekday call in show geared mainly toward teenagers and frequently focused on teen oriented topics such as role playing games and rock music. By this time, Larson had come to embrace contemporary Christian music, including styles such as heavy metal and rap, and actively promoted the music and artists on his show. By the late 1980s, in what would come to define his later ministry, Larson was often heard performing exorcisms of callers on the air. The subjects of Satanism and Satanic ritual abuse were frequent topics of discussion. Death metal performer Glenn Benton of Deicide became a regular caller, as did Bob Guccione Jr., eldest son of Penthouse founder Bob Guccione and founder of the music magazine Spin. At one point during the 1980s, Guccione Jr. paid Bob Larson to go on tour with American thrash metal band Slayer and write about it. Larson tried his hand at writing fiction. Dead Air (1991) was largely ghost-written by Laurie Bosk Flug and Muriel Olson. His later novels Abaddon and The Senator's Agenda both link satanic ritual abuse to political corruption. The latter was largely written by Larson and his second wife. However, a former vice president of BLM, Bob Larson Ministries, Laurie Bosp Flug, claimed that much of Dead Air, though presented as Larson's work, is actually her own. Supporting these claims is a letter from Larson's lawyer that warns Larson of his potential liability to Laurie, anticipating that the role Laurie has played would lead her to demand recognition and or profit participation. In respect to Dead Air and its sequels, in 2004, Larson returned to the radio airwaves after a two-year absence with a daily talk show heard on a network of radio stations and simulcast and archived on the Internet. Today, Larson remains active. His ministry professes to offer an alternative counseling outlet to people who have problems with violence, self-mutilation, multiple personality disorders, satanic ritual abuse, or molestation. Exorcism In 2013 Vice magazine taped a video of Larson's visit in several small towns in Ukraine where he performed exorcisms together with three young women, his 18-year-old daughter Bryn Larson and her friends Tess and Savannah Schirkenbach 18 and 21 respectively, collectively known as the Teenage Exorcists. The Teenage Exorcists consequently published a reply to Vice Media's video stating that they 
question the journalistic integrity of this Vice Media story and are disappointed by how we were falsely portrayed. As of 2014, Larson offered to perform exorcisms over Skype for a donation of $295. His Skype exorcisms were featured in a segment on the satirical program The Daily Show in 2014, in which he told correspondent Jessica Williams, Skype is a great technology to stare down the devil, to go after him and to kick him back to hell. Later in the same segment, however, he indicated that tweeting an exorcism would be ridiculous. Topic bibliography Rock and Roll, The Devil's Diversion Creation House, 1967 Hippies, Hindus, and Rock and Roll Creation House, 1969 Rock and the Church Creation House, 1971 The Day Music Died Creation House, 1972 ISBN 0 88419 030 7 Hell on Earth Creation House, 1974 ISBN 0 88419 072 2 Babylon Reborn Creation House, 1976. ISBN 0 88419 006 4 Rock, Practical Help for Those Who Listen to the Words and Don't Like What They Hear Tyndale, 1980. ISBN 0 8423 5685 1 Larson's Book of Cults, Tyndale House Publishers, Wheaton, Il, 1982. ISBN 0 8423 2104 7 Larson's Book of Family Issues, Tyndale, 1986. ISBN 0 8423 2459 3 Strange Cults in America, Tyndale, 1986. ISBN 0 8423 6675 X Larson's Book of Rock, Tyndale, 1987. ISBN 0-8423-5687-8 Your Kids and Rock Tyndale, 1988. ISBN 0-8423-8611-4 Satanism, The Seduction of America's Youth Lightning Source, 1989 ISBN 0-8407-3034-9 Straight Answers on the New Age, Thomas Nelson, 1989 ISBN 0-8407-3032-2 Too Tough Talk About Tough Issues Tyndale, 1989 ISBN 0 8423 7297 0 Larson's New Book of Cults, Tyndale, 1989. ISBN 0 8423 2860 2 Dead Air, a novel, Thomas Nelson, 1991. ISBN 0 8407 7638 1 Aberdeen, a novel, Thomas Nelson, 1993. ISBN 0 8407 7796 5 The Senator's Agenda, Thomas Nelson, 1995. ISBN 0-7852-7879-6 In the Name of Satan, How the Forces of Evil Work and What You Can Do to Defeat Them, Thomas Nelson, 1996 ISBN 0 7852 8 UFOs and the Alien Agenda, Thomas Nelson, 1997 ISBN 0 7852 7182 1 Extreme Evil, Kids Killing Kids Nelson Reference, 1999 ISBN 0-7852-6870-7 Larson's Book of Spiritual Warfare Nelson, 1999. ISBN 0-7852-6985-1 Shock Talk, The Exorcist Files Westbo, 2001. ISBN 0-7852-7009-4